Welcome back, people. Today I'm going to do something interesting with superconductors. Let's begin. These are so-called high-temperature superconductors because you can get them to zero resistance at the temperatures of liquid nitrogen, or even higher. In this experiment, we're going to see what happens when we cool one of these down with liquid nitrogen and then place it in the induction heater. So here's it actively heating in an induction heater, and you can see it getting pretty hot. I'm running it at low power so I don't damage the ceramic. As you can see here, this induction heater can put out quite a bit of power and heat metals, ferromagnetic metals, to red heat and even melt them. Now let's try with a metallic washer. So this is so-called contactless heating because there's no contact between the metal object and the coil. So here I'm cooling the metal washer down with liquid nitrogen and then we're going to heat it. So as you can see here, it instantly starts boiling off the liquid nitrogen as soon as you put the um, steel washer above the induction coil. Now we're going to do the same thing with the ceramic superconductor. So let's begin. Here it goes. So as you can see here, there's not a lot of heating of the ceramic, proving that it really has no resistance at the temperature of liquid nitrogen. The earlier demonstration that we did shows that the ceramic does get hot when it's at room temperature. Hope you enjoyed this video, folks, and uh, I want to make more like this. And uh, if you've got any comments or suggestions, please leave them down below. And please don't forget to subscribe uh, if you like this and other videos.